hello, gorgeous. You deserve to create stuff without limits, without hesitation, and without fear. And not only do you deserve it, but the world actually needs it. There is something special about you, something with incredible value. Otherwise, I don't think you would be here. But creating stuff from the depths of our soul without hesitation or fear is a lot easier said than done, isn't it? So I'm going to offer you a framework today, something that changed everything for me and hopefully will change everything for you too. I've spent so much of my life struggling with debilitating depression and anxiety disorder. If this works for me, maybe it'll work for you too. Here it is. Let's assign some job roles to everyone that's going to be involved in your creations in any part of the process. Initiation to consumption. You, the three Fs, and everyone else. The three Fs are your friends, family and fans, the people that really genuinely care about you as a person or as a creator. So it doesn't matter what you make, they're going to support you. Someone that really cares about your well-being, not just what you produce. Your jobs as a creator are to learn your craft, take time to take in the world, go places and meet people, stuff you're going to need to get you inspired because you can't make something out of nothing, you need stimulus. and create. Now members of your three Fs also have four jobs. Encourage you, dive into what you have made and really take it in, let you know what they think about something you've created and support your vision. Everyone else's jobs are to criticize what you've done, take it or leave it. Now here's where it gets confusing. The three Fs can be a shady bunch. At some point, someone in this group might say something very negative about something that you've done. This is extremely common and I'm sure you've already experienced the horrible feeling of negative feedback coming from someone that you really care about. This person or persons who have criticized you are doing it perhaps because they feel like they don't like what you've made, therefore they want to protect you from the scary outside world and subconsciously or consciously discouraging you from continuing to make it for your own good. To protect you from the ruthless, ruthless critical, critical wrath of everyone else. But that is most definitely a them problem. It is the fear inside them talking, not the essence of their soul, not the person that actually does care about you. And if you have to demote someone from your three Fs to the everyone else category, so be it. It is also not your job, the creator, to criticize yourself nor to change anyone's intrinsic beliefs or opinions about what you've made. It is not your job to convince anyone at all in any category of the validity of your work. All we need to do in the case of a particularly draining or negative FFF is demote them temporarily or permanently to the everyone else category as far as your creator -dom is concerned. They don't have to know that they've been demoted to everyone else. All that matters is that you mentally remove someone from this very precious, valuable, sensitive category, all the while they're negatively criticizing you. So they're far enough away from the origin of your work, leaving you to create and them to happily or not so happily criticize whatever it is you've made. For those of you that are wondering why love your own creations is not necessarily your job is because sometimes it's really hard to love something until it's actually created. If you find yourself reveling in the blissful feeling of enjoying your own work, you have evolved. You are not the creator at that time. You have evolved from just being the creator to also being your own fan, which is amazing. But don't always expect it especially until there's actually something that you can consider a complete creation. Never expect to fall in love with everything that you make. You're going to make some things in a very particular heat of a very particular moment. Maybe a moment that's so particular that by the time that you've finished creating this work, you don't feel that way anymore and you might never feel that way again. That doesn't mean that no one else will. You might end up serendipitously publicizing this very particular creation of a very particular heat of a particular moment that is exactly what someone needs to hear or see right now. Maybe that person is struck by the honesty and vulnerability and realness of what you've made, which would promote them to a fan. Maybe you are going to paint the picture or compose the soundtrack or sing the song to guide someone with empathy and beauty through the most difficult time of their life. Maybe you already have and you just haven't shared it yet. You're at least one F for one other creator and you are everyone else for all the other creators that you haven't even encountered yet.
And of course, for all of the creators that you have encountered, but just simply don't resonate with you. And that is okay. You as a creator are perfectly free to criticize another creator, but it is impossible to criticize yourself because all of the while that you're criticizing yourself, you are not creating anything. It's a just negative spiral into a void of creating nothing. What's the point in that? You are infinitely powerful, infinitely brilliant and infinitely creative. And I hope that this framework might encourage you to finally realize it.